So today I want to talk about how would I sell my house if I had to. So I made a video before about if I had to buy a house today, how I would go about it. So, so today I want to talk about if I had to sell my house, what would I do? And the first thing I would do is monitor the market. So it's both exactly the same. First thing, I want to be informed on what's going on in my neighborhood locally on the exact home that I have, the exact square footage if possible. Um, if if it's a, you know, a developer that, that built a bunch of homes in your subdivision, go for it. Just monitor that because that's going to give you the best idea of what the value is going to be. Now, you need to focus on what you can control. So the market, you're not going to be able to control. The interest rates, you're not going to be able to control. But the way that your property is presented, you can. When you're paint, making sure that everything is decluttered, professional pictures goes a long way. And also have someone who can do marketing for you. So whether it's a professional video, uh, posting it through social media channels, especially paid, really gets that the impressions out there. So that's the second thing I want to do. So I want to monitor it. I want to prep the home. I want to look at agents. So I want to go ahead and, and talk to the quarterback of the team, right? So they're the ones who are really going to organize everything. See how well do they know the area? What's, uh, you know, what's the options? What's going on here? What's their process like? And, uh, you know, see, see if there's anything that stands out about them. So that's something that I would do during the process before I make any decision. So I'll interview a couple, get the home ready and monitor my market. And the monitoring the market, you might, you might want to do it beforehand. So if you want to get set up with that, feel free to reach out to me. No kind of uh, compromiso or anything like that. You can just check it out and I will happily be able to help you with that. Uh, cosmetic fixes, clear, light paint, and then pre-MLS marketing. So you want to get the traffic or at least the anticipation of, hey, this home's going to be coming in the market. It's competitive. It might be priced just a little bit below market. So you get people coming in. The more traffic you get, the more bids you get. So if I know my house is going to be worth $600,000, I might want to pre price it at $585,000, $580,000. Just so people see it, hey, this home's under six hundred thousand. Where it's everything else that's a three two in this area is is at six hundred thousand. What's wrong with it? What we you know what's the deal? Let's let's jump on it. And you create that anticipation before it goes live, before you're able to show it, and then you get more options because that's what you want. Uh, and with that is also my quality of life, right? I don't want to be opening the door every single day, showing it to everyone. So I would make sure. At least my agent has a strategy with that. If not, especially in a buyer's market, this is what you want to do. You want to cluster your home uh, showings. Uh, you don't want anyone coming at any time and you showing the property and disrupting you. What you want to do is, okay, hey, we're doing all showings Saturdays between 11 and 2. And everyone comes in and they see each other. So they see that there's competition. That's what sells a house. And then... Of course, the last one I would do is I would adjust to the market. So depending on the, the type of feedback I get, if I get a lot of offers right away, I'm going to increase my listing price. Uh, so then the, the people who are serious, they know that they can go up. If I don't see enough, I'm going to drop it and then hopefully get more people in there. And if I need to change the professional pictures, that's exactly what I'll do. I'll try to get different images, different angles, change the, um, what is it called? The, like the sun, the the background. So that way maybe it looks prettier uh, because that's that will, you know, having a new thumbnail on that will help a lot. So, all right, that's it for this video. Hopefully this will give you insight, whether you want to do it on your own, you want to interview people, you want to, uh, you know, just sell the home in the future. This is the process that I myself would follow if I were an agent, if I were selling it myself. All right, until next time.